Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brian Dean from Quick Sprout. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can determine whether or not you should target multiple keywords per page, and if so, how to optimize your pages around multiple keywords. So your first step is to log into Google AdWords, click on Tools and Analysis, and then click on Keyword Planner. Then click on Search for Keyword and Ad Group Ideas. And if you're considering optimizing your single page around multiple keywords, you want to put very specific keywords into this box. So you don't want to put something like social media or SEO or even something somewhat more specific like Twitter marketing because that's still too broad to find multiple low search volume but closely related keywords. So you want to put something like Google Plus SEO because that's very specific. It's about you know how Google Plus impacts SEO. And then you want to click on Get Ideas. Then click on the Keyword Ideas tab. So as you can see, the keyword Google Plus SEO gets 170 average monthly searches. So what you wanna do at this point is look to see if there are any other low search volume but closely related keywords that have the same searcher intent. And by searcher intent, I mean what is the mindset behind the person searching for the keyword Google Plus SEO? Well, that's someone that wants to see how Google Plus impacts SEO. Now that's very different than someone searching for Google SEO because that's someone that's just searching for general information about how to optimize their site for Google. So you'd wanna create a separate page around the keyword Google SEO. And for Google Plus SEO, you may wanna find some related keywords with similar searcher intent and low search volume to add to your page. So what you wanna do is open a little notepad file like this and add any keyword that you find in addition to your main keyword that has low search volume and similar searcher intent. Okay, so for example, the keyword Google Plus and SEO has a very similar searcher intent as our main keyword, Google Plus SEO. It's just phrased in a slightly different way. So what you wanna do is copy that keyword and paste that into the notepad file. And then you wanna scroll down and see if there are any other keywords that have low search volume and similar searcher intent like this one, Google Plus Local SEO. So that's someone who's looking for information about how Google Plus impacts local SEO. And then add that to your list. And we also have using Google Plus for SEO. Okay, so that's someone who's searching for how to practically incorporate Google Plus into their SEO strategy, which is very similar search or intent as the main keyword. Next, you wanna to head to your WordPress dashboard and start to optimize your page around the keywords that you found. So hover over post, click on add new, and then open up the notepad file, copy the keywords that you found, and paste them into your WordPress page or post. So your next step is to incorporate all of these keywords into your title tag without over-optimizing. So a mistake that a lot of people make when they target multiple keywords per page is they do something like this, and you've probably seen this before. This is very, very common, and this is obviously very over-optimized, okay? Because it's including the same keyword over and over again, and also different variations of the keyword in the same title tag. And not only is that bad for SEO, but if this page does get displayed in Google results, this type of title tag has a very, very low click-through rate. So what you wanna do is creatively include all the elements of these keywords into one title tag. So you basically want something like this. So as you can see, this title, using Google Plus for SEO, local SEO, and organic. What this does is, this is a compelling title, right? So if you saw this in Google results and you were looking to see how Google Plus impacts SEO, this would compel you to click on it. But from an SEO standpoint, it also incorporates elements from all of these keywords without over-optimizing. So once you've done that, you wanna write a description tag so scroll down to your meta description if you're using the Yoast SEO plugin and include something compelling that also includes all of your keywords. So you wanna put something like this. Wondering about Google Plus for SEO? Learn how using Google Plus, so you can see it includes the keyword using Google Plus, can impact local SEO and organic search. So this is a great description tag because someone who's searching for any of the keywords that you're targeting, when they see this meta description tag, they're gonna click through and it's also SEO friendly because it includes the elements of all the keywords that you're targeting. Next, you wanna optimize your content around your target keywords. So to do that, scroll back up, highlight all of your target keywords, click on paragraph and then click on H2. And what that does is it puts your keywords within an H2 tag and that's important because Google puts more weight on content 
in an H2 tag versus content that's just in a paragraph tag. So these will form the subheadings of your article. Okay, so you don't necessarily have to use them exactly like they are. You just want to include them in the subheading somewhere. So you do something like this, Google Plus SEO, why it's important. And then you want to write content about why it's important, right? Then you want to use Google Plus and SEO, you know, how to take advantage. Now this strategy also gives you a practical benefit because it helps you plan your content. So you already have the subheaders here, now it's just a matter of filling in the content for all of your subheaders. And obviously as you write, naturally you'll include some of these keywords like using Google Plus for SEO. So in this section, you'd wanna put something about using Google Plus for SEO just once, you don't wanna over-optimize, but you wanna include it to really drive the point home that your page is about all four of these keywords, but especially Google Plus for SEO. So that's all there is to targeting multiple keywords per page. As long as you find keywords with similar search or intent and then optimize your page using the strategies I discussed in this video, you'll be well on your way to ranking for multiple keywords from a single page.